Guys, I want to introduce you to this little guy. His full name is Lactobacillus ruteri, but we usually call him L. ruteri. He's a gut bacteria, one of the good ones, the probiotics. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you the five reasons why you want to be supplementing with L. ruteri, especially if you have hair loss. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here from HairGod.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. Now, just before we jump into the video on l Rutery, I really quickly want to talk to you about the HairGod Complete Hair Biotic, which I've linked to in the description. The Hair Biotic contains six different bacterial species that have been shown to provide a wide range of health benefits with special emphasis on those that also promote hair growth. And l Rutri is the very first species that we put into this formula. As I said, check it out in the link in the description to find out more. It comes with a 180 day money back guarantee, so it's entirely risk free to try. So at any given time, there's over 1000 different species of bacteria in our gut. And along with other kinds of microorganisms, they comprise the so called microbiome. Most of these bacteria are not just helpful they're actually necessary for the normal functioning of our gut and by consequence our entire body. For this reason, these good guys are called probiotics, which literally means enhancing or supporting life. And the probiotic that we will be looking at today in this video is obviously Lactobacillus ruteri. This bacteria used to be very common in humans a few decades back. It was naturally passed from mother to child during breastfeeding, but for reasons that are probably related to poor diet and more unhealthy lifestyles, it's now found in fewer and fewer people. Now you want to be having probiotics in your diet for a variety of reasons, and you definitely want Lactobacillus ruteri to be one of them especially if you're suffering from hair loss. So let's get into it. The first reason why you want to use l Rutri is that it can stimulate hair to get into the anagen growth phase of the cycle. Contrary to what the naked eye suggests, the hair on our head is not constantly growing. Each hair follicle actually goes through a constant cycle with three stages. Firstly, in the growth phase, the hair follicle expands in size and creates the actual hair shaft. This is the visible part, what we actually call hair. This only gets longer in the growth phase. In the next phase, the follicle starts to shrink to make way for the third and final phase of the cycle the so-called resting phase. It's during this resting phase that the hair falls out and a new hair shaft will need to be created and grown out from scratch. Now the hair follicles on our scalp go through their cycles independent of one another. So their cycles are not necessarily synchronized. Normally you have around 90% of hairs in growth phase and almost all the rest in resting phase in the process of falling out. But one of the hallmarks of male pattern baldness is that the normal hair growth cycle is altered. So when you're going bald, the percentage of hairs in the growth phase actually drops dramatically and the percentage of resting hairs rises. With fewer follicles growing out hair shafts, the scalp starts to get visibly thin. And if we look what l Rutri does in animal studies, it has the exact opposite effect. It actually increases the percentage of hairs in the growth phase and lowers those in the resting phase. In lab rats, the shifts are dramatic. Those without l Rutri in their diet had 36% of hairs in the growth phase which compared to 70% in rats fed with l Rutri. Now in humans, you're not going to get these kind of dramatic changes. But if l Rutri can have even a small fraction of this effect on our scalps, the visible effects could be dramatic. The second reason why I want to take l Rutri is that it may help regulate sebum production. So sebum is the oily substance found on our scalp. It's basically found all over the body wherever you have hair follicles. And it is there for various reasons. It's involved in the normal development of the skin. It regulates what can penetrate the skin barrier. It transports antioxidants and other compounds, and it also protects against harmful microorganisms. So problems with sebum regulation can have very real implications for the health of your scalp and hair, as well as in its appearance. An excess of sebum can lead to the scalp and hair being greasy and smelly. Eventually, this can cause more serious problems like dandruff. On the other hand, an underproduction of sebum can lead to brittle hair and a dry scalp. So sebum is one of those things that is notoriously difficult to get right, especially if you over shampoo or use harsh chemicals or shower with very hot water. All of these things can mess up with your scalp's natural sebum production and cause problems with your hair. Now, one of the most fascinating results of animal studies is that l Rutri induces what has been called the probiotic glow of health. This is especially apparent when you feed l Rutri to lab rats. 
These animals are notorious for having all sorts of fur problems, partly from living in such an artificial environment and partly from their impoverished diet. So they tend to have this dull, very unhealthy looking fur, as well as dermatitis and sometimes even hair loss. Well, feeding these animals El Ruteri results in a dramatic improvement in the quality of their fur. They go from having dull fur to just looking pretty good. And this is largely mediated by the ability of El Ruteri to improve the proliferation of sebocytes, the cells that produce the sebum. You may recall a video that we recently made on healthy hair, where we discussed its shine or luster as being one of the crucial factors in its healthy appearance. Sebum, in the right quantities, coats the hair shaft, making it more shiny, as in the hair shafts literally reflecting more light. Well, researchers actually measured the light reflectance of female rats that are fed probiotics like El Wutery, and they found that their furs literally reflect more light, with the result that, as I said, they are lustrous and healthy looking. Translated to humans, this can mean a healthier scalp as well as shiny, amazing looking hair. Number three is the increasing evidence of a gut hair loss connection. Guys, gone are the days when researchers believed that what happens in the gut stays in the gut. There is now very strong evidence that an unhealthy, inflamed gut can compromise the rest of the body's normal functioning, including the immune system. Long-term, chronic gut inflammation is now slowly being linked to a variety of autoimmune conditions. And as you might know, hair loss often has an autoimmune component. For example, in alopecia areata, your own immune system attacks the hair follicles, eventually leading to bald patches on your scalp or other parts of your body. And in pattern boldness, inflammation also seems to play a role. As the boldness advances, the role of DHT seems to diminish, and factors like inflammation and fibrosis become more important, which partly explains why you can remove every last molecule of DHT from your body, but you can't restore parts of the scalp that have gone completely bold. The other thing that you want to consider is that if the gut isn't functioning correctly, you're not going to be able to absorb all the nutrients that your hair follicles need. And deficiencies in certain micronutrients like iron, selenium, biotin, and various other vitamins are linked to hair loss and even structural changes in the hair shaft. Now, a healthy gut goes beyond just consuming probiotics. You also want to consider eliminating unhealthy, difficult to digest foods and pro-inflammatory foods. Also, things like heavily processed foods, GMO, sugary foods, it might be time to cut all of this out too. And ideally, you want to be cutting down on the consumption of foods like dairy, red meat, and gluten. We've done a video on gut health and hair loss in the past where we go into detail. I've linked to this in the description. The fourth reason why I want to take El Ruteri is because of the health benefits that are not only skin deep. Okay, so El Ruteri, very promising hair and skin supplement, but what about the rest of the body? Well, El Ruteri actually excretes a compound called Ruterin, as well as other substances like lactic acid and ethanol, all of which are known to have antimicrobial properties. Through these secretions, El Ruteri can protect against a variety of gastrointestinal bacterial infections. For example, H. pylori, one of the bad good bacteria, can lead to ulcers and other problems. El Ruteri is often used to eradicate H. pylori, and it does this without causing any of the problems that you can get with antibiotic treatment. El Ruteri also has the ability to, believe it or not, actually produce different types of vitamins in our body, including vitamins B9 and B12. It also has pronounced anti-inflammatory effects, as well as being a neuromodulator. This means that it interacts with the gut nervous system. Now guys, after having said all this, it should come as no surprise that l Ruteri has been investigated as a possible treatment in a wide range of conditions. In infants and young children, it's been found to be beneficial in the treatment of many conditions, including diarrhea, dermatitis, and various different allergies. In adults, it's been investigated as a possible treatment for a serious autoimmune condition called lupus. And some researchers have suggested that it could have therapeutic potential in neurodevelopmental conditions like autism. There are also some very interesting lines of research in both animals and humans, suggesting that some strains of lactobacillus ruteri could be very effective weight loss agents as a treatment for obesity. The fifth reason why I want to take El Ruteri is that it's non-toxic and safe. So guys, whenever you look at supplementing, one of the main considerations is safety. On this channel, we focus heavily on natural supplements and lifestyle changes to combating hair loss, as opposed to taking harsh pharmaceutical medications that mask the symptoms and mess up your endocrine system. 
But just because a supplement is natural and doesn't require a prescription doesn't mean that it's going to be completely free of side effects. Having said that, I'm happy to tell you that Lactobacillus ruteri is one of the safest things that you can ingest. It has basically no side effects and is practically impossible to overdose on, even if you consume many times over the recommended dosage. The worst thing that will probably happen is that if you did that, you would have some bloating, gas and constipation. Now, what you do want to look out for when you supplement with l ruteri is actually the rest of the ingredients in the bottle. So you want to make sure that there's no cheap fillers, no GMOs, no sugars hidden anywhere in the list of the ingredients. And guys, make sure to check out the Hair Guard Hair Biotic in the description. It doesn't get much better than this. In the Hair Guard Hair Biotic, there are no fillers, no junk, and we only use the highest quality strains available. You have 180 days from the purchase of the product to see results. If for any reason you are not satisfied, you're entitled to 100% of your money back. Guys, I've linked to two other videos on the screen now and make sure to let us know in the comments how you liked the video.